today's lesson, we're going to learn how to produce contour using civil 3D. How to produce contour using civil 3D. At the end of our today's lesson, you'll be able to learn civil 3D. You're able to know how to produce contour using civil 3D. Many people have called us to ask us to teach to teach how to, to train them on how to produce contour in a contour survey. And today we're going to learn it. We're going to train on the the step by step on how to produce contour using civil trades. There are many softwares to produce contours. You can use Sofa, you can use AutoCAD, you can use Land Desktop, you can use Civil Card. You can use IGS, you can a lot of uh, softwares. Uh, we can you can use um, uh, 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 Quick Grid. There are many softwares for contour to produce contour. But today we are doing advanced training, which is how to produce contour using Civil 3D. The first thing to do is to launch your Civil 3D. From your desktop environment, you can see from your desktop environment, you can see that we have metric here, we have imperial, and we are, uh, apart from, from the desktop, you can you, you launch your Civil 3D from your start menu, move to your start menu or program, and choose where the program is, choose where the program is, and open. The civil 3D from your all program. Then we, after launching your civil 3D, then this is the environment of your civil 3D. You wait for a few minutes for it to load, and yeah, after loading, your civil 3D environment will look like this. You have your menu bars. We are not going to talk about the uh, uh, the you explain the tools menus and every uh, and the tools bars and the information and the function. For you to use your three D, you must be used to a card and it environment. A card and it environment are almost the same, just little differences. Now, for all the first thing to do, the first thing to do is to have a a, a, a contour data. A contour data is a, is a topographic feed work produced by surveyor. A contour data is a topographic feed work produced by a surveyor on a feed. Then it looks like this. A contour data is a topographical feed work produced by surveyor. From this, our, uh, we have saved this. Uh, contour data on a notepad, you can save it on a, in an Excel sheet or a notepad. On a notepad, you can see the point, the easting, the northing, and the height. The, the point, the easting, the northing, and the height. Then after you, say, uh, you type it, you save it and close it. Then you save it to where in a folder where you can easily locate. I save mine on the desktop. You can see here uh, practical job one, two, three. We are doing the practical job the one to three on how to produce contour map in Civil 3D. Then after launching the environment, the, uh, the Civil 3D environment. The first thing, the second thing to do, we have talked about the first thing is to type in your, your contour data in a notepad or in a search sheet and save it in a folder or, or your desktop. Then secondly, I, after launching your Civil 3D from your home page, you are seeing your home page menu by here. Then from your home page, you're going to click surface. The first thing to do for you to be able to produce contour 
in Sivotede is to create a surface as in Sivotede environment. We're going to create surface where the data will be inputted. We will import the data, the topo survey data into Sivotede. Okay, for you to be able to import the data, you must first create surface. Then click surface, click create surface and wait. The create surface the dialog box will appear. Then you're going under type, you're going to see it on thin surface. Then because you are working on thin surface, then you're going to see properties. Under the properties, you're going to ch uh, change your name, the name of the job you're doing. We call this one practical. Practical one. Practical one. Under description, we said US civil trade. Civil Day. Then under style, the style you are talking about your contour, how you want it. Then most times you don't you don't set it. You can come back to set it later. Then let's set it up, do it once and for all. So you understand what it takes to produce a good contour map on the screen. Then under style click, you are seeing contour. To uh, contours 2 meters by 10 meters background, then click on this icon here. Then it will take you to dialog box on the contour environment. Then click on this icon here and select contour 1 meter by 5 meters background. Then click on this, click on this icon here to this dialog uh, icon here, click it then and it will take you to the surface style settings then and this surface style settings is going to off whatever if you don't to, uh, after plotting you don't to see the contour then you off it here you want to see the co uh, contour you on it here then and the point we want to see the point we click then we want it the border to be seen is on here if you don't want it to be on you off it all these are off then we on it so we can see the contours after plotting then we move down we want to see the arrow then now that is under display what you want to uh, want to display on your map then we have uh, information we have border we have contour under contour we're going to set our contour intervals there yeah, i'm using 2.5 uh, uh, 0 0.5 0.5 by 2.5 that is uh, uh, the contour size i'm using depend on the contour size you want to use you can change it it's not constant contours uh, interval is not constant you can change it then that is it then after that you click apply then you click ok ok again that have set up your style contour style now on the rendering you click again it will take you to the dialog box then say click ok and ok again then to close now you have create a surface on CVTG this is a step to create a surface on the 3D. Now you can see the access create surface. Then you have created a surface. In case you don't know how to create a surface, the what we did now is how to create a surface. You have click surface here. Uh, click create surface. Then set up, do your settings and click OK. Then that is all. Then now. Uh, now we have successfully created a surface on Civil 3D. The next thing to do is we want to import the topos survey data into Civil 3D. The topos survey data into Civil 3D because the topographic survey job. So 
So for this, the contour map, it must be a topo survey job. Then now, the first, uh, the, uh, the third thing we're going to do is click on modify tools. Click on modify tools. Under modify tools, click surface. Then now, look at what will happen. We have taken you to surface environment. Modify from modify, you click surface. Then surface will take you to surface environment. This is the surface files and uh, tools for you to use. You want to edit, you want to do anything on the surface. You got this this surface. You have created a surface you want to work on. You want to edit. You want to plot contours. You want to plot your topo surface. On this surface, this is every thing you're going to use in producing contour uh, survey plan. Then, after on the surface uh, uh, environment, then we click add data. When you click add data dialog box, then click point, uh, uh, point file. Then, when you click point file, a add point file dialog box will appear. Then, there's a plus here. This plus means add file, a file that contains the Topo survey data, then you click. It will take you to your folder where you will save your field work. My field work was saved on the desktop. You can see practical job one two three. Then I will select, click open, and uh, wait for a minute. It will load. Wait for a minute. It will load. If you look here now, I have point. The point the point now is under nothing. The easting is uh, the easting and the uh, uh, and the and the height elevation. Then now uh, there's no nothing here. Nothing is not one to three. We are seeing here. Then now uh, for us to get what is on our topo survey uh, data, we we'll click point easting. We're going to specify the format which we use in typing it on our notepad. We have point easting, nothing, and uh, height, SYZ. Then you click. Look at what will happen here. Uh, we have point easting, nothing, and elevation, the height. Now, this is exactly what we did on our notepad. Then click OK. At this point, we have successfully plotted import our civil, our topo survey on civil 2D. Then you can't see anything. So I click and press zoom and zoom extend. Then you are seeing your topo survey plan. Wow, that is very good. At this point, we have to edit, we have to adjust and check everything here that has happened then you'll find that the contours is not how you supposed it's supposed to be on your own but you have plotted it based on what you put the size of your contours your cutter interval and two the the spot height is not showing we're going to on this day you have successfully plotted our contours on civil 3d by importing it on the surface environment. Then now, the next thing we're going to do is importing the spot type into this contour map. Importing the spot type into this contour map. Then what we do, we click. Excuse me. Then importing point height, uh, the importing the elevation into the contour map. Then from the modify to bar, click point. Then click import point. 
my importing point click import point then now we take you back to how we did what we did before but on this stage you want to import spot type you see go back to your data again and click open then now you still select point eating mapping uh, and the uh, height then now look at what is showing here now you can see this place is it said add point to a point group you want to create a group then now we're going to give it a name then i i have selected this on this icon here and i click it will ask me to rename my group i should name my group then i will going to name it as contour one Contour one, contour one is my point group name. Then click OK. Wow! At this point, you have seen your spot height, your spot height, and your band range, and also inside your uh, your contour, your topographic environment. This is how to import your spot height your contours on Civil 3D. We want to say if you have any questions on this, you can easily send us an email. You can easily send us our emails on our website, on our blog, on our Facebook page, on our Twitter, on our Instagram. You'll be free to ask any question which will be given to you all questions next time we'll be going to look how to edit your uh, your contour survey on silver 3d how to edit your contour survey on silver 3d in case you uh, you missed this lesson please subscribe on our youtube channel and always check on us to for more studies send us your questions send us your feed work send us your feed data and get in touch with us in, at your easy technology we are here to serve you thank you